What's up, everybody? It's Jonathan and Ryan back with another Benzinga Pro Showcase. And we have big news for you today. And uh, and I'm not just talking about our stock news, which is awesome, as usual. But, <laughs> uh, but we have big platform news. And I am so, so, so excited about this. So, uh, Ryan, uh, where can our, our users find this stuff and what's new on the platform? All right, well, we're going to talk about that, but first we have some administrative notes to, to take care of. Uh, I, for one, was fooled by Neil's little escapade here about, about hit being his last day. So uh, if you were fooled out there, don't feel bad. He actually fooled me too. And I actually retweeted a warning uh, from friend of Benzinga, Airplane Jane, said, watch out for April Fool's jokes. I read it. I processed it. I retweeted it. I was fooled by an April Fool's joke. So I've already failed today. Uh, we're we're going to try to we're going to try to turn this day around. Um, the other thing is, is that Neil would absolutely do a good job at CNBC. I don't know why Spencer was putting him down and raining on his parade. That that seems a little uh, out of place for Spencer. But Neil would definitely do a great job and frankly, would be better than some of the other talent there. But that's another story. Now, uh, as far as what's available in Benzinga Pro, today is a very, very special day. We've talked quite a bit about uh, some of the new features that are coming. We get asked all of the time about how do you filter a news feed by price? How do you do some of these different things? And today is the day where you're actually going to be able to start doing that. So if you log in to Benzinga today, if you actually go to our beta website, which I'm going to go, oh, I can't post it in the chat. Um, our beta website is right up here. I, go ahead and share my screen, producer. Uh, I went ahead and highlighted the address up here. Let me let me zoom in so that it's easier to see. Uh, probeta.benzinga.com is the login to our beta site. It is identical to our regular site, except we keep the newest fixes and features on that website. So uh, today at some point probably already happened. All users are going to have access to the two new features that our development team has been working on for some time. Uh, this is the advanced news feed and the real time movers, an enhanced version of the movers tool that you know and love. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tease this a little bit. We're going to show some of these new features. And, and uh, again, I, I want everyone to go ahead and, and log into probeta.benzinga.com. Give these features a test. Please and understand. You do, yeah, you go ahead. You do need a subscription or a free trial. So if you don't yep. have a subscription, just go over to pro.benzinga.com, sign up for a free trial, and then you'll also have access to probeta.benzinga.com to test out the new tools. Correct. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, everyone that has a subscription or a trial also has access to the beta. I forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, so this is this is really, really exciting. So um, uh, Jonathan, I, do you get asked anything more than I, I think that the top request I get is how do you filter the news feed by price? Is that your experience as well? Yeah, definitely one of the top yeah. uh, requests that and then uh, say relative volume. I, I want to see stocks that are spiking in volume and have gotcha. news or other things like that. So this will cover both of them. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the advanced news feed button. Now, um, the keen observer is going to realize that look, this looks identical to the news feed that you're used to, except the sector button has been replaced with a button that's called screener. And if you click on screener, you're going to see all of the different options that you have to filter uh, the news feed. Now, you'll also notice that sector has been moved inside here, so we didn't take that feature away from you. Uh, the big one that you're going to notice right here is price right at the top. And so now you can say if you want, say you only wanted news for stocks between $1 and $10, that's doable now. All you have to do is come in here and enter values and then press done and the news feed then will only return results for tickers that are between the price range or any of the other filters that you set. Um, the one caveat that you need to be aware of is understand here, like for example, I put one to 10 and VTA is appearing here. VTA is $11. Uh, you'll notice that it also has a plus 163 next to it. So what's happening is that some of these other tickers that are mentioned in this news story are triggering this, like SMIT, S-M-I-T, and PFIN, P-F-I-N. They're both within that range. So then as a result, this news story is being returned. Uh, as Jonathan mentioned, uh, he briefly talked about relative volume. One of the things that's really cool about this advanced news feed is the way this works is now we can actually add things uh, 
very quickly as opposed to redesigning the entire tool. So for example, when we first started getting requests about adding the, or uh, being able to filter the newsfeed by price, that type of functionality wasn't built into the technology. Now that we've gone ahead and laid that foundation, we can iterate on this tool and add different values or, or different fields or parameters as required. So um, Jonathan and I have talked about this quite a bit. Please, as you're testing this, if you have any great ideas, which I'm sure every one of you has, go ahead and click on the send feedback button in the upper right corner and um, go ahead and fill out your feedback. One of the things that's really helpful about this is that our feedback system will tell us if you are on the beta site or the regular site. So that's going to be incredibly helpful. Obviously, anyone testing the advanced news feed is going to be on the beta site. So some real cool stuff there. If you come across a variable or something else that you want to see added to this tool, please reach out and tell us. We don't know what we don't know. Um, but as you can see, these are going to be some of the first uh, uh, fields that are available here. And, and so go ahead, play with them, uh, see if it works for you. You can, of course, add more than one, right? So if you want to have um, uh, more than one filter at a time, you can. And if you want to abbreviate with M and B for millions and billions, the system is smart enough to do that. So uh, go ahead and, and play. Play with this up. Oh, I didn't add. So there's a bug right there, right? So for volume, we at least want to have some type of closing uh, value there in order to make that work. So I will go ahead and talk about that with the team. This is what I mean about it being beta. This is why we need your help to test this, to find out all of these bugs so that when we release it to production, it's ready to go. Now, go ahead, Jonathan. Sorry. Uh, just uh, uh, Don Kuhn in the chat here talking about the mobile version we have some great news for you, Don Kuhn. So we are going to still release a mobile app in the near future so you can get push notifications and all that good stuff. But guess what? Now this uh, web version that you're looking at right now works on mobile with a better layout. So instead of the workspace layout where you have so much on the screen uh, in one spot, you can just click between separate tools and get this, the squawk now works. Even if your phone is locked, you can, you can play the squawk on your phone. So it's not exactly a mobile app. It's not a separate app, but you can have it up on your mobile browser and it works with much better navigation than it did two weeks ago. So go ahead, check that out until the full mobile, um, mobile app is released with some additional notification features. Yeah, and that is coming. Great point, Jonathan. Yes, the beta is free, CC Invest. Go ahead and check it out. As you can see on my screen here, I've resized the window. This is what Jonathan is talking about. Your The Benzinga Pro is going to detect automatically based on the dimensions of your web browser and the device that you're on, whether or not it's going to show you the mobile version. So you can see here, the difference here is that the list of tools is now across the bottom, and you can scroll this to the left or right by using your finger like you would on any other application. So uh, get in here, get involved, check this stuff out. Uh, it, it, it's really, really cool. It works really, really well. The other thing is, is that if you have multiple workspaces, it's actually going to tile them here in the in a drop down menu. Uh, so go ahead and, and click on that. You can see all of the other workspaces that are there. So real cool stuff. In, in this case, if I go ahead and blow it up, it's just going to, I should probably refresh it. It's just going to return to the desktop version that it's on. So real cool stuff. Stuff. We're really, really excited. And that's only one of the two tools that we're going to tease today. So uh, advanced news feed out there, but also you'll notice that uh, what we're calling scanner is in here. And this is our movers version two, our, our real time movers, if you will. And uh, this is going to look similar. We're probably going to continue to do edits to this one as well. Again, the same the same type of thought process exists here as exists with the newsfeed. Now that we've redesigned this tool, we can iterate on this tool quite easily and, and more quickly. So you'll notice here that you have other time or um, uh, refresh rates, polling rates here. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 10 seconds. The one thing I will say is that if you set it to real time, you'll see how fast some of these numbers actually move around. And sometimes that can be difficult. So one of the things that we did is we added a pause button. So if you see something here that you need to dive into boom just hit pause and it'll pause the list from shifting around on you 
uh, looks like the pause feature needs a little bit more work as well. So, um, so go ahead and test these. Like I said, I've already, just in showing you guys this, I found two little minor bugs. I'm sure you guys can help us by finding some of those little things that we can go ahead and fix and get this tool rolled out 100% as soon as possible. Um, in addition, you can see that the filters in here are very, very similar to the advanced newsfeed filters that we just showed you. So before with movers, you really only had a couple of filters that you could that you could use, but the period, the session, sector, market cap, price. Now you actually have a bunch of more filters. So you can actually add volume. I believe vol down here is for relative volume. We're going to check on that and make some of these labels a, a little bit more clear. Wait, Ryan, can I interrupt you for a second? Of course. I'm on the wrong mic. I'm sorry. Um, uh, CC Invest said this asking for a credit card. Yeah, you do need access to the free trial. Um, so it okay. doesn't cost money to get the free trial. If for whatever, re for whatever reason it won't give you a free trial, just email us at onboarding at benzinga.com. Uh, you might have had a trial like a year ago and it's not letting you in, but we can make sure you get access. Just onboarding at benzinga.com. Yeah, absolutely. We have changed. If you did have a trial a year ago, we have changed quite a bit since then. I highly advise that you start a, start another trial. And like I said, if it's not letting you, like Jonathan said, uh, reach out to our team. We'd be happy to show this to you. So really, really exciting, exciting stuff here. Jonathan, are you as excited as I am? I, I feel like I'm pumped up. Oh, man, I am, I'm very excited. I, I mean, some of these pieces of feedback have been uh floating around for about two years and it's awesome to see this come to fruition and uh just know that we're putting a lot more resources towards these yep. new tools we've got a lot more people working on this don coon we are currently in talks for a short interest provider so we are acquiring short interest data so you can expect that in there uh soon the other thing we need from all of you as our users and as our community we need specific screen set screener settings or scanner settings that you use because you all know that there's 500 or you know i don't know a thousand variables we could put into the platform but we can't do all that at once so we're asking you please send us your feedback on any screener settings or scanner settings that are not currently available in Benzinga Pro. Just throw that in the feedback button. Even better, email us screenshots of your specific variables that you use so that we can make sure that this is as much of a one-stop shop as possible for as many users as possible. It's all about you, and we've got a lot more great stuff to come. Well said, Jonathan. Very, very, very well said. So, so yeah, um, any feedback that you come across, anything that you think would make this software more powerful, please let us know. Me and Jonathan, we work very hard at, at trying to get that feedback in front of the development team. And when we do get the feedback in front of them, look at what they're able to produce. Just a absolutely masterful tools here. I see it in, in the chat here, uh, Isaac, I feel bad for people that don't know BZ Pro yet. Me too. Uh, this software changed my trading. Uh, and, and change the trajectory of my career. So uh, I, I just want to spread the love. I'm glad that the rest of you are doing the same. Awesome. Thank you. And I'm seeing, yeah, volume. Uh, so let us know. Yeah, heat map. And then, and then um, uh, whoever Mango is, in terms of filtering the news on Benzinga Pro, let us know more ways that that would be helpful for you, especially after you try this new screener filter on the advanced news feed. So test that out and let us know if if we can improve that in any way from the way that you use it. Uh, and just to recap, what is the best way to share this feedback? You mentioned in the platform, it's the top right, right? Yeah, definitely. The best way is using the send feedback option that's built into Pro. But uh, additionally, you can also talk to our team directly. So if you feel that you need to explain whatever piece of feedback you're giving us, go ahead and hit that little blue button in the bottom right corner and let the support team know. We'll work with you. In some cases, we may ask for screenshots just like Jonathan did here. That's very, very helpful for our team. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, let's talk more next week about how you can search for, uh, like NFT news and low float stocks, mango. Uh, there's a lot more that you do with that advanced news feed and even the current news feed. And so we'll see you next week. I'm excited cause I'm going to have to go and do a deep dive and like learn new things now. So I'm excited now to, to like learn new features. 
the yeah. power is yeah. yours, Spence. We're putting it in your hands. Power is mine. All right, guys. Once again, uh, pro uh, beta dot benzinga.com for the beta site, pro dot benzinga.com for the main site. Same login credentials for both sites. Just use your regular credentials. YouTube 47 gets you 47% off of your Benzinger Pro subscription. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. That's a good deal. Ryan Flynn and Jonathan Mallet. Guys, uh, you should, when you hop off here, hop over to YouTube. Check out our cool thumbnail that that, that I made. Well, not I didn't make it, but we made uh, for you guys. So, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. You're, you're, your face is on YouTube. You're famous. All right. That or it's going to be an April Fool's thumbnail. No. 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I, swear. I swear. I swear. Go check it out. Jonathan Mallard, Ryan Fluna, guys. See you on. Have a great weekend. All right. Uh, it is 1046 on a weekday, which means it's time for the Benzinga News Desk update. Let's do that. Joining me now is Bren Slav, again, the head of Benzinga News Desk. He was just. He's in a fast market. He was just breaking some news like a minute ago. He's like, I'm going to be late. I'm like, that's okay. Break some news. What do you got, Brent? What up, Spence? How are we doing? A uh, little something, something on the NFT market. But I feel like you're probably sick of NFTs. No. <laughs> <laughs> you assume. Uh, yeah, you're right. But, <laughs> but, 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 but I'm not. I'm never sick of, of breaking news. So, yeah, yeah, that is true. You want to just jump right in? into the breaking news we just had yeah what do we got here i'm gonna sweet so um i mean and and let's like you know take a take a zoom out here for a sec okay. this like nft thing has been an, an area of an issue i would say for the market a lot of confusion right a lot of like crossover with like blockchain and crypto and yep. digital assets so we're targeting this stuff at benzinga because it has been an area of a lot of confusion for people right there's been a lot of people who've gotten maybe kind of sucked into trades maybe because they heard it was related to nfts and it wasn't really and so i mean these are you know textbook things that we we want to try to i would say sort of protect traders from at benzinga yeah so i'm gonna share my screen now this is a news feed you all know what that looks like uh red headlines has my attention is that correct yes you got it and so all let's right. start with uh green pro capital expense that ticker grnq we reach out to green pro they had been they had exposure to digital assets they as far as we we could find they didn't say nft non-fungible token deliberately specifically anywhere that we could find but but they did have exposure to digital assets that's okay. kind of the thing people are assuming that if you have exposure to you know containing a digital asset that that means nft that that does not seem to be a, an effective like jumping over the bridge that that's not a given okay. um so so for green pro we reach out to green pro we yep. said hey are you, are you working in the non-fungible space non-fungible token space they said the short answer is yes and there will be more details announced soon out of curiosity yes i'm gonna go look at the stock Yes. What? Uh, that, that just happened. Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, that just that, happened. That, I mean, the stock's up about 13% right now from when we reported it. It was up yeah. as much as, I think, 22% when it hit that 318 yeah. high. All right. So, yeah. So, you know, that move is quick. It moves always quick. Uh, doesn't mean it's over. Could be over. Could, that, that, that could have been your high, but we don't, of course, we don't know. Um, but, if you're trading this thing and you don't know the information, you're the dumb money. So now you know the information. Now you know NFTs. Okay. Good good way to put it, Spence. And then well, the other one yeah. was, ooh, Spence, you have a lot of good workspaces up there. Do you were you use those like actively? Uh yes. Well, not that. Nice. Uh <laughs> not yeah. Uh -huh. The rest of these I I, I never nice. I never change, basically. YouTube so. family out there, Spencer is leading by example here. This is a really good way to use your Benzing Pro. I don't even have my uh, maybe, maybe I can do a, up that maybe prettily. I can do a demo. Maybe I'll do a demo one day on how I set it up. Maybe maybe we do that. But you have you have a movers tab. I see you have. Uh, I'll zoom out. Ratings tab. We're totally getting distracted. Sorry, sorry, I gang. Heard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. Back to the headlines. So this one was for Lion Group Holdings. This one was LGHL. 
And again, uh, there had been some chatter, some circulation that there, this had some kind of digital exposure, uh, digital asset exposure. We reached out. They said that is not the case. They said the quote, the company is not involved in the NF NFT space at this time. Pull up that stock. This one was more of a slow burn, if you ask me. Obviously, the guys on the Benzinga Pro News Desk were were reporting this in real time, so we were watching the charts in real time. Um, Green Pro started moving right away. It it we reported it, bam, it went higher, and then Lion Group didn't start moving right away. Lion Group kind of ticked lower. I saw then, that. I saw yeah, that. yeah, and then once it once it like broke for the four twenty level. And then especially the four dollar level, that's when that's when the downside really like starting getting inten intensified. Look, so I just said if you go back to like GRNQ, I just said, hey man, the moves are quick. Well, they're not always so quick. Yeah, I, so, I, yeah, I, I, right. I, did, I did go to LGHL first and I like didn't really see the stock moving. I was like, all right, I guess mm -hmm. the market doesn't care. Yep. But I it now, cares. It now cares, it's yeah. But but also, I mean, you know, um, you don't have volume on your chart there, Spence. I think if you no, hit the chart, uh, hit I, the chart tab, and you can I, I see will. the volume. I don't have volume, yeah. Or do you have to turn it on? I don't know. If no, it's there right. you go. So, so, and and look, this is what happens. And and I don't remember when we were talking about this, Spence. I think we were talking about this recently. But like, you know, use use fundamentals, use a company's operations to get to a thesis, yeah. and then and then drill down in the chart and and see where there have been. A precedent uh, tendencies in the chart and what happened here is okay yes there was this you know piece of information this piece of news about the company's operations the stock kind of was slow rolling it hit a level 420 started breaking down but look the volume the volume is so important volume is a huge indicator a huge tell and look the volume didn't really come in until the stock started breaking under the four dollar level right you see that 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 real volume spike right there, exactly, exactly. So and and this is also where your, where your VWAP can help. Uh, Mango yep. last name is noting that LGHL is a crypto play. That may be, but they're saying we're not an NFT play. That's what they're saying. We want these companies to super deliberately say yes, we have exposure to NFT. Or if they if a com if if LGL if LGHL reached back out uh, followed up with us and said we have exposure to crypto and they didn't answer the question on nft we would have reported it that way we yeah. we're reporting this stuff super deliberately because at, at least as the the state of this nft trading thing is going right now it really seems like we need a company to say we have nft exposure yeah yeah and because the market crypto or digital digital right. asset exposure is not enough right now because it seems like the market is really pressing these companies to like say yes we're getting into nft Look, it, it, it's a shiny object of the day. Is it silly? Maybe a little bit, but the, you cannot ignore the fact that the market cares about this right now. It may not care about this yes. in, in six months. Um, and yeah, it still cares about Bitcoin and blockchain and all that, right? We're not just kind a good of point, that, we're not discounting that. We're not saying <clears throat> the stock, you know, is a sell because they don't because they say they don't have any NFT exposure. We're just saying they don't have it. They're saying we're saying that they're saying that they don't have <laughs> any NFT exposure, and the market is discounting that right now. Absolutely, Spence. Really, really good message there. And you know, when the when the Hall of Fame uh, CEO was on YouTube in yeah. the afternoon of was that last week, Spence? Uh, that was last week, right? Days all blend together. It was last week. <laughs> was that last year? <laughs> no, um, he he was like Chris Chris Catchy, one of our our, our spec reporter and yeah. and a guy who's found himself in NFT territory. He <laughs> asked a really good question. He said, "You know, do you think that NFTs are going to be sticking around?" And he was like, "The the Hall of Fame HOFV is the ticker CEO said, I think these things are going to be staying around because the next uh, evolution of this." is going to be whatever develops from nfts so he didn't he didn't you know necessarily think nfts are going to be around forever but yeah. whatever the next thing is going to be he thought was going to come from non-fungible tokens so in, in the same way how like um in the earlier days of bitcoin you know maybe it would the market wasn't so convinced that bitcoin was going to be around forever but there were people that were convinced that 
Bitcoin will have children, right? And it's it, things. There are, you go. Things yep. are going to spawn from Bitcoin or blockchain, yep. more probably. Um, yep. And now we have NFTs, which spawn from Ethereum, which spawn from there. You go. Blockchain, there you go. Which spawn from Bitcoin. Kind it's of. cool, man. I, I mean, I just in my own research, I think that you know the the stuff with NFTs is really cool. Um, it's a way to you know create a uh 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 an imprint. It's a way to create a fingerprint for this digital this digital stuff that you know probably before i don't think people creators artists were getting exposure to i think that the kind of ultimate example that i that i think of when i think of nfts is like all the memes out there right now memes are you know huge for our lives believe it or not and those people that created those and those those memes you know the there's a time when a certain meme is the most popular meme and whoever created that meme isn't getting jack for it Know. You know, I thought, I thought they, they probably should be famous. They probably should be getting a bunch of money for it. I and know. and if we can, you know, bring this kind of imprinting, this kind of fingerprinting to something like that market, I think that's that's awesome for the 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 population that's using these things and also the creators. I thought about that. I've I've also thought about memes within the context of social media. Uh, anybody who's ever had a a meme or a post go viral, uh, that's great, but. They bring what do you what's what's the benefit from right, you feel great actually you feel it feels cool it feels cool <laughs> but like what what's the real benefit this is actually a path to monetizing your own yes. vulnerability um so like in that sense, i've thought about twitter as an nft play that's pure speculation i have no wow. idea but, I, but it, to me it kind of it makes sense i never really thought about that, that like, yeah like it would make sense. I, I, i've never had a tweet go like super viral but if i did mm -hmm. i imagine i would be like oh like i wish there were, there were a way that, that, that I could, you know, actually get some real tangible benefit from this rather than my five seconds of internet fame, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so Spence, I put together a list. Coincidentally, before we had, you know, the GRNK comment yeah. earlier, yeah. I, in our Benzing approach at, there was some users that were asking about NFTs early this morning. And I really quickly put together a list of stuff, uh, uh, stocks that we have confirmed they have NFT exposure. Oh yeah. Would you like to, would you like to just go over that list? Yeah, real quick? You've made, you made a list that was about two weeks ago. I'm sure it's changed a lot since then. So yeah, uh, absolutely. And right, so right. I, I probably, my, my disclaimer when I sent the message into the Benzing pro chat was that I probably missed a couple, a couple users helped me get a few more on the list. Good. I am not a hundred percent sure this is a comprehensive list but this is going to be hitting a lot of them um maybe i should just like go type them into the chat or something like that how do you want do you want me to just read them off to you but read them off and i'll, I'll throw you, you know what I'll all do. right so Here. confirmed Here. nft exposure I'm, Fungo. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a new one Ooh, make a watch list spence oh, oh, yes oh, 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 oh. what i'm talking NFT. about this is what i'm talking about all right i'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see all right did you name go. it nft yes let's sweet do it. okay so funko fnko yeah, that's been mentioned in chat. Tao Ping, T A O P, Wise Key, yep. W K E Y, Hall of Fame, H O F V. Hall of Fame is working with Dolphin Entertainment. That's D L P N. Genius Brands. I think that was just yesterday. They said um, in a shareholder letter they are going to have some kind of announcement. C S C W. That one is like Color oh, that one. Star Technology. Right. Uh, live x live that's ticker l i v x this is like uh a media brand that does events concerts and stuff like that mm -hmm. they said they're gonna have some exposure at cidm cinedime okay. zki zk international that's ticker zkin liquid media that's ticker yvr and now wow. green pro g r n q all right that's a list of what 10 or so stocks companies yeah like Companies with confirmed, 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 you were there, confirmed NFT exposure, if you care about that sort of thing. There might be companies that have exposure out there that oh, wait, also we don't wait. have on this list, wait, or TKA, maybe we haven't been able TKA, to confirm it yet. TKAT also, right? Should be on that. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Spence. You don't Let me see. That? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know about that one. I know that one was getting clumped in. I don't yeah. know if it's confirmed. Okay. Well, that is like a online art provider like i believe they provide a platform for uh buying and selling art so yeah. that that and that's a good example of how these companies are getting clumped into nft just because yeah. it has something to do with an artist yeah and again we're not saying these are all like legit companies we're, we're not saying that 
we're saying these companies are all, are all saying, hey, look yes. at us. We're in an yes. FTD. We're doing NFT things. It's it's not that dissimilar to if you were around in 2017 and everybody wanted to add blockchain to their business. Uh, it's not that dissimilar to that. There this are, is this is crazier though, right, Spence? There, there are what? one. There are ones that did it well, and there were a lot of ones that yeah didn't it. T just, and just to follow up real quick, TKAT. Yeah. The, the company had a filing on March 18th that said, we are not aware of any material undisclosed corporate developments or material change uh, in our business or right. affairs They're also that has watch. not been publicly disclosed. So I don't think that one is confirmed as an NFT player. They're off the watch list, but I have to, there we go. Look, They're, we can show people how to remove uh, a stock from the watch list. They're done. They're dead to me. Thanks uh, a lot, Spence. That was cool, man. Brian Slava, always, always a pleasure. Always super great to talk to you, man. Have a great weekend. Yes. Happy Reminder. Th- yeah. No school tomorrow, Spence. Good Friday. <laughs> and you get a compliment on your hair in chat. So uh, have a good weekend, sir. Thanks, Sweet gang. Bye. Later, everybody. Happy Easter. All right. It is 11.01. I ran a minute over for that. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Everyone smash that like button for Brent and his glorious, glorious hair and watch lists on Benzinga Pro.